Next we have 11352 Tangerine. I'll start inside because it's noisy outside for it now. This is the left side, 11352. It's the good side. There's no evidence of any roof leaks. Electricity is not on. Marble sole windows, no problem with the windows. They would not need to be replaced. Kitchen ceiling fan looks fine. Kitchen cabinets are dirty but usable. There's no garbage disposal. Refrigerator stove. Two bedrooms. The floor is tiled all the way through. Bathroom. Could clean up and reuse, I think. Tile around the bathtub. Looks pretty good. Here we've got a water heater intact. Bedroom, normal sized. Floors are good. Window looks fine, no evidence of water. Other bedroom. Fan in here as well, looks usable. This looks like the side you live in and renovate the other side. We'll go outside and maybe it's a little quieter out there now and get a street shot. Next door neighbor's working on his house. Keeps it nice and clean. Lots of trees on our lot. Neighbor's house is good. The one directly across the street's vacant. Down the street are good. The one immediately next door is for sale. I have to look it up and see what it's for sale for. This is the front of our unit. Big huge tree. Big trees in the backyards as well, as we'll see in a minute. It says the other side of the unit now will be 11354. This has got carpet, which of course uh, is dirtier than it looks on the video. This one I think would have to pretty much be gutted. Windows are still looking good. No, no evidence of leaking around the windows. Kitchen's a little bit worse, dirtier. Cabinets are not bad, countertops not bad. Got a stove. Got a refrigerator. I'm not going to open it because there's no electricity. God knows what's in there. Carpets doesn't stink, but it's dirty. Bedroom, same floor plan as the other side. This place is dirty, but not horrible. Bedroom. Obviously needs paint. Carpet's got to go. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. This uh, bathtub's a little bit worse. I don't know if that can be cleaned up. It just looks like dirt to me primarily. A little bit of caulking. Toilet. The yard is overgrown. The neighbors probably love to have you clean up the yard. There's a little uh, lanai out behind both of them, which I can't get into. There's too many snakes and stuff for me to 
walk through the yard, so I'm not going through there. I'll take us around to the other side to the yard. There's a little garage here. The air conditioner units are both existing. I, do, I can't tell if they work or not because there's no electricity. This is next door on this side. This is the one that is for sale also. I'll have to look that up. What is the number on this one? One one three three six. That's not a duplex, but it is for sale. Go back around the other side here. This place has been vacant for a long time. The yards are very overgrown. I got to go through the inside to get to the back. There's a lock on that gate. Here's the backyard behind the good unit. Big ass tree. Here's our air conditioner. Can't really tell much about it. Backyard, big tree in the corner. Big tree here. There's a fence between the backyards of the two units. I can get over here without any critters. Just geckos primarily. Here's the other air conditioning unit. I can't tell you if it works. Soffits aren't looking bad, really. There's no gutters. And the roof it looks like it's been replaced. It's not an original roof. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. That's pretty much it.